Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Tech A11 by Usha and myself Usha. In this podcast, I have covered some of the most important and useful shortcuts related to JAWS screen reader, which every JAWS screen reader user must know. So, without further ado, let's listen. First, let's see the shortcut to increase and decrease JAWS voice rate. We can either increase or decrease JAWS voice rate temporarily or if you want, you can do it permanently. Shortcut to increase JAWS voice rate temporarily, the shortcut is Alt Control Page Up. Let me do it. Faster, faster. Okay. And shortcut to decrease voice rate temporarily, it's Alt Control Page Down. Slower, slower, slower. In order to increase JAWS voice rate permanently, Alt Control Windows page up. Faster, faster. Okay. And to decrease permanently, it's Alt Control Windows page down. Slower, slower. That is, you need to press Windows key along with Alt Control page up or page down. Next, let's see the shortcut to increase or decrease JAWS volume and system volume. In order to make any changes in volume either in JAWS volume or in system volume, first you need to enable volume layer command and the shortcut to enable volume layer command is insert space followed by V, V for volume. So insert space, I am hitting insert space at once space. and then V. V volume. Okay. Now volume layer command is enabled. In order to enable JAWS volume, you need to press J after enabling this volume layer command that is insert space V. So that is insert space V followed by J. J JAWS. Okay, it said JAWS. Now once you press this command insert space V J, you need to hit up arrow to increase and down arrow to decrease. Before I do this, let me first show you what is the system volume. Okay, and currently the JAWS volume is 100%. 100. Okay, let me show you the difference. Okay. To exit this volume layer command, just press escape. Okay, you will get a tone. Now, let me show you the system volume. Windows D, notification, Chevron, SIP 1, fiber, speakers, colon 89% button. System volume is 89% and JAWS volume was 100%. Now I'll just change JAWS volume. Okay. Escape. So in order to do that, I'll hit insert space, space. V, v volume. and then J. J JAWS. Now I'll hit uh, down arrow because it's already at 100%. I'll hit down arrow. VJ, 90%, okay, 90%. Now let me exit and show you the difference. Now I'll go back to system volume. Windows B, system one drive free fiber speakers colon eighty nine percent button. Yes, you can notice like system volume is still eighty nine percent and jaws volume I have set to ninety percent. So this is how you can increase or decrease jaws volume. Now in order to increase or decrease system volume, first activate volume layer command by hitting insert space V space V volume and then you need to press S. Okay, S for system. S system. For JAWS volume, you need to press J after activating insert space V. And for system volume, you need to press S after pressing insert space V. Now I am hitting up arrow to increase. Yes, 91%. Remember the volume, uh, system volume was 89. Now I am increasing. 93, 95, 97%. Okay, 97%. Let me exit and check. I am hitting escape. Let me go to system volume. Windows B notification sit one fully fiber speakers call at 97% button. 97% and JAWS volume I have set it to 90%. Let me show you Freedom, that. Space, v volume J JAWS V 90%. 90%. Shortcut to toggle audio ducking is insert space followed by D D for duck. Okay. Space duck other audio. In order to disable ducking again. Space, do not duck other audio. Do not duck. 
Shortcut to enable or disable the announcement of toast notification from Windows and from other third party apps. The shortcut is insert space, space. control N and for notification. Toast notification announcements enabled. Toast notification announcement is enabled. Whenever you get any notification from Windows app or any third party application, JAWS will announce that notification. In order to disable it, same shortcut that is insert space followed by control N. Space. Toast notification announcements disabled. Shortcut to no format of text. That is to know if the text is bold, italic, underline or if you want to know the font size and other format details. The shortcut is insert F. Like for example here in Word document I have written some text and applied some format. E I am hitting insert F. Bolded, italicized, single underline, 11 point, steel, blue up white, delivery, normal style, white spacing, colon, one line, paragraph, formatted, colon, line, left, outline, level, colon, body, text. So it will read all these format details. In order to know foreground and background color information, hit insert 5. Steel, blue up white. Okay. Shortcut to toggle typing echo, insert 2. Okay, I am hitting insert 2. Words. Words. I am hitting insert 2 again. You need to keep pressing insert 2. Both characters and words. Both characters and words. None. None. Characters. Characters. Words. Okay, so keep hitting insert 2. Like whatever uh, typing echo you want, you can set it to that. With this option, like if you set your uh, typing echo to character, whenever you type a character, JAWS will announce it. If you set your typing echo to word, when you type a word and hit space, JAWS will announce the word. If you set it to both character and word, it will read both character as well as when you type word and hit space. And if you keep it to none, it won't read anything. Shortcut to read selected text is insert shift down arrow. For instance, hello black, hello how are you? Okay, there's a line hello how are you? So I'll try to select hello how are black h black a e h hello ah r selected. Okay, I have selected these three words. In order to make JAWS read this selected text, I'm hitting insert shift down arrow. Selection is hello how are. Okay, hello how are. So these three words are selected. Now, in order to make JAWS read the spelling of selected text, you need to hit insert shift down arrow twice. Insert shift down arrow twice. So H E L L O space H O W space A R E space. Okay. Next. Shortcut to enable voice assistant is Alt insert space. Once you use this shortcut, voice assistant will get turned on. You will hear a sound notification which indicates like voice assistant is on. And before you give any instruction to voice assistant, you need to use the wake up word. And the wake up word in JAWS is Hey Sharky. Like in Alexa devices, we use the wake up word Alexa. And in iPhone or iOS devices, we use the wake up word hey siri in the same way here it is hey sharky let me do it insert alt space hey sharky what's the time 1 12 pm okay next shortcut to mute and unmute jaws hit insert space s s for speech space speech on demand speech on demand which means jaws is on mute and to unmute, hit the same shortcut insert space followed by S. Full speech. Full speech. Now JAWS is unmuted. Next, shortcut to turn on screen shade or screen curtain is insert space F11. Space. Screen shade off. And to turn off the same shortcut insert space F11. Space. Screen shade off. Screen shade on, screen shade off. Shortcut to open JAWS speech history, insert space followed by H, H for history. Space, speech history, to edit the selected item. Shortcut to clear speech history, insert space, shift H. Space, speech history cleared. Speech history cleared. Now let's learn some important cursor shortcuts both in desktop as well as in laptop. When you don't have numpad on your keyboard, just switch your keyboard layout to laptop and you can start using 
cursor shortcut related to laptop. First shortcut is PC cursor. In desktop, the shortcut is numpad plus. PC cursor. And in laptop, the shortcut is caps lock semicolon. PC cursor. Second, JAWS cursor. In desktop, it's numpad minus. JAWS cursor. And in laptop, shortcut is caps lock P. JAWS cursor. Third, touch cursor. In desktop, the shortcut is shift plus numpad plus. Touch cursor. And in laptop, the shortcut is caps lock shift semicolon. Caps lock shift touch cursor semicolon. Uh, when your touch cursor is on, you need to press na this numpad plus twice to come out of this uh, touch cursor. PC cursor. Okay. Next, shortcut to root PC cursor to JAWS cursor. In desktop, the shortcut is insert plus numpad plus. Root PC to JAWS. In laptop, the shortcut is caps lock plus apostrophe. Root PC to JAWS. And shortcut to root JAWS to PC cursor. In desktop, it's insert plus numpad minus. Root JAWS to PC. And in laptop, the shortcut is caps lock left bracket root jaws to pc next shortcut to know the version of any app or program the shortcut is jaws control v v for version jaws is your caps lock or insert whichever is your modify key jaws control v i have opened microsoft word application here let's know the version of this app i'm hitting control jaws v microsoft word retail 16.0.4266 now let's learn some mouse related shortcuts. First, left mouse button. In desktop, the shortcut is numpad slash. Left mouse button. And in laptop, the shortcut is caps lock 8. Left mouse button. Next, right mouse button. In desktop, the shortcut is numpad star. Right mouse button context. Escape, and in laptop, the shortcut is caps lock 9. Right mouse button, context menu, to navigate, escape, leave it menu. Shortcut to lock and unlock left mouse button in desktop is insert plus numpad slash. Left button locked. Left button unlocked. And in laptop, the shortcut is control windows 8. Left button locked. Left button unlocked. Shortcut to lock and unlock right mouse button in desktop is insert plus numpad star. Right button locked. Right button unlocked. Context menu to navigate. Press up escape, please. And in laptop, the shortcut is Windows Control 9. Right button locked. Right button unlocked. Context. Escape. Shortcut to drag and drop in desktop is Control Insert plus numpad slash. To drag and drop, place the JAWS PC or touch cursor in the drop location and press Ctrl plus JAWS key plus numpad slash. And in laptop, the shortcut to drag and drop is caps lock plus shift plus 8. To drag and drop, place the JAWS PC or touch cursor in the drop location and press shift plus JAWS key plus 8. To know which is the current active cursor, the shortcut is ALT plus delete. PC cursor 11 minus it's same in both desktop and laptop. Shortcut to bring up Windows list is insert F10. Window list dialog, running applications list box, JAWS profit. Shortcut to list system tray icons is insert F11. Select the system tray icon dialog, list box, notification chevron. Shortcut to view system tray contents is control shift F11. Items and system tray colon meet now one drive dash dash. Some other important and useful shortcut that we need to remember is keyboard input on and off and the shortcut is insert one. Keyboard help off. Keyboard help off. Okay. Next, if you want to know the title of any window or any opened program, shortcut is insert T. T for title. Title is document one dash word print view. Shortcut to open quick settings is insert V. 
Quick settings dash windows OS dialog. Search box edit. Type a text. Shortcut to open setting center is insert 6. Windows OS dash jaw settings center dialog. Search box edit. Type a text. Control plus E. Shortcut to no jaws commands is insert space followed by J. Insert space, space J. Search for JAWS commands dialog. Search for colon edit. Search for colon edit. Type a text. Forms mode. Shortcut to no time is insert F12. 2.23 pm. To know the date, hit insert F12 twice. To Friday, July 7th, 2023. And shortcut to quit JAWS is insert F4. Insert. Uploading JAWS. Quit JAWS dialog. That's all in this podcast. Thank you. Thank you.